Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you could set a song as your ringtone on your iPhone. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as just loading an MP3 onto your phone and then clicking on it and saying make ringtone. There are a lot more steps involved, but luckily for you today, I'm going to walk through the steps that show you exactly how to do it. Once you've done it once, it's actually not that hard. All right, well, let's jump into it. I'm here on my PC. If you have a Mac, it should be very similar because we're using the iTunes software. So I'm going to open up iTunes and within iTunes, I have this song by Alan Walker called Fade. Yes, it's an older song, but I'm allowed to use it and I won't get a copyright strike. So that's why we chose this song today. Um, and so you could have any number of songs within iTunes, whatever song you want, you could pick a piece of that to be your ringtone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let's just uh, listen to the song here for a moment. Um, so here I could jump forward. I kind of like towards, I kind of like towards the end of the song because it really kind of builds up and you get that excitement. Um, and so what I'd want to do is if I want to turn this song into a ringtone, I probably want to take, you know, probably, you know, maybe three fourths of the way through the song. Um, so how do we turn this into a ringtone? Well, the first thing we need to do is I need to choose the part of the song that I like the most. So I'm going to right click on this uh, within iTunes and then we're going to go down to song info. Under song info, you'll see all these different headers here. We're going to click on the one that says options. Uh, so we'll click on options and then you can see here that I'm, I can specify when the song starts and when the song ends. With ringtones, you're allowed to have a ringtone that's up to 30 seconds long. Um, in this case, I'm just going to choose, let's do 10 seconds. So I'll go with uh, 350 and I'll also set the end and we'll go to uh, four minutes. And that'll be the range of the song that we go with. So now I'm going to click on OK and now we're going to play the song. And you'll notice that it, it picks up at that kind of exciting part of the song where it's really building up. So this way when someone calls me and my phone starts to ring, I have that section of the song that plays. Okay, so I've uh, specified the part of the song that I want. What do I do next? Well, now let's click on the, the file menu here. And what we're gonna do is, to be able to turn this into a ringtone, we have to make it a different file type. So this is a MP3 file that I have. And now I'm going to convert that into an AAC. So what you do is file, convert, um, and then you go down to AAC version. I'm not sure what AAC stands for. Uh, and here you'll see a second song now appears within my song library called Alan Walker Fade. And you'll see that the main difference between these two, the original is 4 minutes and 20 seconds. The new one is only 10 seconds, just like I specified. And I'll go ahead and play that. There we go. So that sounds like a good range for the ringtone. Unfortunately, it's still a little complicated. So now I have an AAC file and what I'm going to do is let's, let's right click on this file and then we're going to go down to show in Windows Explorer. Uh, so we're going to click on that and then Windows Explorer pops up. You'll see that this AAC file, the file extension is .m4a. Uh, for a tone or a ringtone on your phone, unfortunately it can't be an M4a file. So what we're going to do is let's right click on that and we're gonna go down to rename, okay? And so we go to rename, we're gonna click on the file extension and we're gonna replace the A with an R. Um, so it's gonna be a .m4r extension. Why is it that extension? I don't know, but that's the ringtone extension. Uh, so we're just gonna make sure we match that. So it's basically an AAC, but a ringtone. So let's go with that file extension. And then I'm gonna say, yes, let's change it. We wanna now go down to uh, the device. Um, so here you'll see in iTunes, I have my device, which is plugged into my computer. And so it's been identified here. Um, here you'll see all my content that I have on my phone, right? So I have my music, um, I'll click on my tones. Um, and what you do then is if I click on File Explorer, once again, we have this Alan Walker song. And what you have to do is, unfortunately, you can't just drag and drop. You have to actually click on the file and do Control C, um, or you can right click on it and you could go to Copy. And then we're gonna go to iTunes and then you could go to edit and then you could paste. Um, so we're, and then you'll see that the song pastes uh, right in here in iTunes. So I have Alan Walker fade NCS release and it's 10 seconds long. So now this song is on my iPhone. And what I could do now is let me bring up my iPhone and I'll show you how to set that as your ringtone. Okay, so I'm on my iPhone, I'm recording the screen just so you have a better view. I'm gonna click on settings and then under settings, there's an option called sounds. If you have a newer iPhone, it'll be called sound and haptics. Let's go ahead and click on that. 
And now uh, within this sounds view, there's something that says ringtone. And right now I'm just set to the default opening ringtone, which is the one that comes out of box with the new iPhone. And you'll see at the top of the list now, it says Alan Walker fade NCS release. What I'm gonna do is let's click on that. And there you can hear the song playing. So now anytime someone calls me, you'll hear that song. So I'm gonna set that as my ringtone. And we're just going to go back to the main screen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call myself and we'll hear the ringtone play. There you go. That's the Alan Walker song. So there you have it. That's how you set a custom song as your ringtone on your iPhone. Unfortunately, there are many different steps involved. Ideally, it'd be as easy as you know, dragging and dropping an MP3 onto your phone and then say, uh, and then set it as ringtone. Uh, but unfortunately, there are a few steps involved. Um, if you were able to set a custom ringtone on your phone or a song as your ringtone on your phone, uh, please give this a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you want to see, please leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye.